there again. Hello. And I apologize if my voice sounds deep. Um, I just woke up, so it's yes. a little... It's a little raspy. Early morning. Yeah. No, not really. No, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a little raspy, but it'll, it should get better, just to let you know. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is more As Seen on TV products. Because you can never have more. enough. Right, so we've done another video on this, um, but we're going to do this one today. And we found some really cool things that we're going to test out and show you guys. Um, and yeah, I guess we can we can start with the first one. All right, right let's into get it. started. Are you tired of trying to play with your cat and they just won't listen? You just, you put a toy in front of them, you wave it all around, and you feel like you're doing all the work because they just stare at it. What are you going to do? Is there anything that can solve this? Well, I've got the answer for you. It's the Pop and Play Interactive Cat Toy. Woo! This is going to solve your problems, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all it is. It's called a Pop and Play Interactive Toy. And... It's this little ball, and then there's like a little fake mouse inside, and you press, uh, you press this button, power, and this mouse goes out all these little pops holes. Out. It pops out. And there's also sound if you want to turn off the squeaking and turn it back on. Um, but that's pretty much all it is. It comes in and out like that. And also you can have, like, you can put a feather in instead of the mouse. It comes with that. On the back, you have to put in four C batteries. Um, but that's, that's pretty much how it works, and, uh... So we're gonna find out yeah, so, if our cats like it or not. Yeah, so we got a cat, and we're gonna go show you if it worked or not. Okay. Okay, so, uh, here is the next one, and as we said, this is called a pop and play... I need her, she's leaving. <laughs> Honestly, our cats don't play with a lot of toys. They're old ladies. So let's, let's try. Alright, Silky. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> she's too afraid of it. Come on, Silky. What's that? Ooh. What's going on? <laughs> she's interested, actually. She's not sure what to think of it. <gasps> what is it? At least she's watching it. Yeah, usually they just walk away, so at least she's intrigued. Okay, now she's like yeah, not Yeah, now, now she's anymore. getting bored of it. <laughs> I mean, I would say for a cat that you know loves to play with all toys, I mean, I think this worked pretty well. Um, yeah, I mean, it worked. Uh, at first I thought it was broken because I put in batteries and it just didn't turn on, but apparently our batteries were bad, so we got new ones and it actually worked. Um, so, I mean, for her, a fail, but maybe for other cats that like well, to think, actually play with toys. I think it's not a good idea to somehow entice cats that don't like to play, but if they already like to play, it'll be fun for them. So. Right. Um, I don't know how they're marketing it, but if you use it for a cat that already likes to play, it's going to work. Right, exactly. So, yeah, if you have a cat that likes to play with all the toys, I really think they probably like it. And it does also come with, like, it's not just the, uh, the little fake mouse. It comes with a feather, too, if you want to use that. Um, but yeah, I would say that this one actually, actually worked for a cat who, who does like to play with toys. Are you tired of trying to use your mouse... And it's just so much work to have this giant thing that you have to move around. You know, it's a lot of a lot of weight on the hand right. that you have to carry around. Sometimes it doesn't even work. The mouse gets stuck. Well, <laughs> we have a solution for you today. It Dude. is the pocket mouse. Look at that. <laughs> this pocket mouse is used through Bluetooth. This goes in your USB. Mm -hmm. And you use it like a pen, but it's your mouse, so right. you can write with it. Oh, the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have it upside down. You can write with it instead of having to use a giant mouse. So right. you put the, it takes a AAA battery, and then you have, this would be like a left click, mm -hmm. and then over here is your right click. You can scroll up and down, and then you just basically use it like... <laughs> And now we're going to go, we can't do it in here, um, but we're going to go somewhere else to show you if it, it works, works or not. Here, we're going to test it. All right, so here we have the pocket mouse. So let's try it out here. Let's see. Ah. Okay, now wait. To click on stuff, let me see, I think. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, it is not the most responsive. Yeah, it, well, it's, I mean, it's hard to see on the screen here, but... It, oh, yeah. go back. Nope, that's not what I wanted. It is working though. I mean, it okay, is doing. Okay, that's better. No, you you got to get you got to you got to get the the feel for it. I don't know. I mean, it works, but 
Would you rather a mouse or the pen? Like, what, what do you think is easier? I think I'd rather a mouse. Just because, like, with this one, you can't... Like, it's like you're writing. Right, so you can't yeah. It down, so... Well, I mean, I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. Like, why well, would you I'm want thinking, it to... So imagine if, like, this computer was up there. Because you can do it from far away. That's true. And you can... And it is like you can take it places and... Yeah, it's more portable. But if I'm sitting at a computer, even if... I mean, even if this was sitting up here, you could still use this mouse. Right. And, uh, and it doesn't seem to work, like, that great. Like, it doesn't respond all the time. So you would say just go with the mouse. Don't bother with the I pen. I'd say go with the mouse. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, you know... I mean, it worked, but it was a sort of fail for us, I guess, because we I wouldn't guess, use it. unless you're like a super big traveler, then use it. Right, exactly. Are you a child, and you have all these toys, and you have to move them yourself? I know, it's terrible. So much You work. have a car, or a truck, and it's on the floor, and you have to move it with your own bare hands. Isn't that just awful? Well... I've got the answer for you. The Radical Racer! Ooh. Now, there's nothing in here because we were testing it. Um, but this is the Radical Racer, and it comes with the remote control here. And pretty much, it's a remote control car that can go on the floor or the wall. So it, yeah. it's supposed to suction uh, with like air right here, and it goes on the wall, and you can turn it around. And then back here, there is the wall mode floor mode and off mode. Now, the floor mode, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just regular, you know, there's We've no We've seen air. that. Psh. Right. Um, so yeah, this one, you have to charge for about an hour. It comes with this uh, little cord here, this USB cord. Um, and then with this, it takes two AA batteries. So we're gonna go show you uh, whether it actually stayed on the wall or not. Okay, so here is the next one. Um, so as we said, this is like a race car that is remote controlled that actually goes on the wall uh, it's supposed to so pretty much you're, you're just supposed to set it here and then this control controls it and it's supposed to go up here um, okay i'm wondering about this one it feels know. yeah it feels pretty cheapy to be quite honest so i guess we can uh we can try this out so turn this on turn this to wall okay Ooh. Ah, it you turned it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh wait, it's staying though. Wow. Well, it keeps falling, but it's it's staying. Whoa, look at that. It's actually really cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Wow. It's like a bug. Yeah, it does. That is so cool. I did not expect this one to work at all. Yeah. It does smell like a vacuum though. <laughs> that is so cool. I, I would say that's a win. That. This is definitely a win. I mean, if you're a kid, I think you're really going to like this. Um, the quality though, I mean, if it falls enough times, I'm thinking it's probably going to break. Um, but for the time being, it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I actually really enjoyed this. Like, I might actually use this. Just saying. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's that's really cool. Definitely, definitely try this one out. Um, it really works. And uh, we can go on to the next one. Are you tired of trying to cut things with a knife and it's just not working? Man, you slave yeah. over cutting up celery or tomatoes yeah. and it's just... Your hand gets so tired. Man. Because it's just not making a clean cut. Well... We have the answer for you. You Do should we? get the Bavarian <gasps> Edge Knife Sharpener. Yes, you should. This is quite exciting. So, you're going to open this, and I'm going to show you. This is a doll knife before it's been sharpened, and I'm going to cut the tomato. Okay? All right. Now that was pretty that it was wasn't, tougher. It, you know, it, it, it did not go smoothly. I'll no, put it, it that didn't. way. Okay, so correction is actually not seen as seen on TV. It is Bulb Head is the company. We wanted to try one because um, it was there and it looked cool. So and why yeah. not? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I have no idea how this works. How does this work? So pretty much, there's like this sharp part right here in the middle. Okay. And you just take the knife down it and you 
come through and you just keep doing that okay, till so you think it's sharp move enough. anything no you just so what we do this then we pull it through yeah okay does that it say is... how long to do it um all right well let's test it okay i don't know if that was enough i'm not really sure i'm gonna find out ready and Kind of the same. Kind of the same? Okay. Kind of the same. I mean, you can maybe try Maybe I didn't more. sharpen it enough. Let's yeah, maybe you can do it for... So it's all nice and sharp. All right. So, I've done it a little bit more, so we're going to try another side of the tomato. So here okay. we go. Ready? And... <gasps> now that was, was better. Was that better? Okay. That was better that time. Let's try the other side. All right. Yes. I will say... Um, the tomato was not super hard to cut before. Yeah. But it does feel better. But, I mean, I would say it did an okay job. I mean, not perfect, but, um, again, I mean, maybe we'll try it on something harder next time. Um, but yeah, I mean, would you say this was a fail or kind? I don't know. I would say it worked. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would. It would did it sharpen worked. the knife. It did sharpen it. I um, would say yes. So, yeah, I think this one actually, actually did work. Okay, so we can go on to the last one. Are you tired of wiping your stainless steel and your windows and your mirrors and they just won't clean at all? And that after you wipe it with a wet, wet cloth, you have to wipe it with a dry cloth or else there will be streaks on it. Oh. Are you tired of that? Then get jo June's Miracle Cloth. Whoa, oh, look June. at June. I'm going to hold it you. like her. Look at you, June, That's showing she's off your it. rag. <laughs> she's very excited. Um, so this comes with two cloths, and it says it's great for windows, mirrors, stainless steel, and so much more. So much more. Uh, and pretty much you wet it, you wring it, wipe any surface, and walk away. All right. Okay. You gotta so, remember the walk away part. Yeah, you, you know, have to walk important. away. So pretty much the point of this is that you don't have to wipe it with a dry cloth. Oh, you just wipe it with this white, uh, wet one, and then it's supposed to not leave streaks. So we're gonna test it on this very dirty um, teapot here because yes. it is stainless steel. So we're gonna try this out and see if it works, uh, and then we're gonna go get this wet. Okay. So uh, we're gonna try this out, and it does have like a little nice logo on it. I will say yeah, that. Look at that. It kind of feels like um, like a very firm paper towel. Um, but let's test this out. Let's wipe it down. See if Jane is right. Well, it's getting it off. We'll say that. Okay, well, it's getting stuff off. All right. What's um, happening? I am seeing streaks, so let's, we're going to see if it dries without streaks. Um, that's right. Jane said no streaks. That's the point of this. Got to see if the streaks come. <laughs> This was a very dirty day. Okay, so so far I'm seeing streaks. I'm seeing a lot of them. Well, um, well, now wait. Let's let it dry. You gotta let it dry. So but we we can't dry it because that's not what she said her thing would do. She right. said it would dry itself. Right. Exactly. Hey, wait a minute. It is drying without a streak. You're seeing that right here. Oh. I don't see any I don't streaks. Know. I, don't I don't know. know. I don't really see any streaks. I mean, there was the water streaks, but then it dried, and I don't see any streaks at all, to be honest. <laughs> it looks, I would say it looks splotchy. Like, there are, there are spots where there's, like, little puddles on there, but that yeah. could just be the teapot. Yeah, so know. it's either that this didn't clean it up, but I'm pretty sure that it's just the teapot itself, but we did get the grime off of it that the, what was on there. There was, like, ketchup and stuff. Don't even know how that got on there. Um... But, I mean, their point was that it wouldn't leave streaks, and I don't think it did, so... But I would say June did what she said she would do. She did it. She got it clean, and... Uh, Streak-free? Yes, she Oh, did. wait, now you have to walk away, remember? Oh, right, okay. And that is the end of our episode. I'm back! I'm back! All right, is it any better? Looks about the same to me. Okay, and so that was our testing of As Seen On pr Products and uh, Bulb Head, uh, one product of them. Mm -hmm. And I would say that my favorites were, were the race car and uh, I'd say the 
cat toy or the cloth? I think. That yeah, was I think my the favorite. only one that wowed me was probably the car. Yeah, the car was actually pretty awesome. That actually stayed on the wall. Yeah. I mean, like it. It was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's us testing As Seen on TV products. Um, if you want to test some yourself, you could do that. Um, but I think that it's really hit hit or miss with them. You know, they try sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. It's kind of um, like, you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. And now it is time for the news. Hello. We come to you today with an urgent warning. I have here a list of signs and symptoms that may indicate you need to adopt a cat. Number one, you enjoy seafood. Number two, you read the story Puss in Boots as a child. Number three, you enjoy watching Netflix. Number four, you wear black clothing and or including black pants. You go past the pet aisle in the grocery store. And number six, you live in a dwelling with windows. If you find that you are showing signs of any of the listed things above, please make your way to the closest pet shelter as soon as possible. And stores are now selling a new brand of TVs, the Pumpkin Spice Flavor TV. It only plays fall-themed shows and music and smells of pumpkin spice. Only in stores for a limited time, and they are going fast. And now it is time for the Taylor Travels. I have to make it my own clap and name it. Okay. <clears throat> and I have to be a soccer announcer. Uh, okay. All right. And finally comes down the rock. He's coming to the ball. He's coming to. He's coming to the goal. Oh, he's making his ball. Oh, there he goes. He goes. Oh, he's missing the ball. Oh, he missed the ball. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Oh, oh, they're coming out. They're, oh, they're, oh, I'm losing what my words are. <laughs> um, no one understands what's going on in the game. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Um, and finally comes down the ball, and and Robinson gets to the ball, and they're they're going back and forth, and uh, and Robinson gets the ball, and he's coming down the goal. He's coming down the goal to the other side, and he's coming back around, and he does not get the ball. He does not get the goal at all, and he goes back and around. Oh my goodness, this is the biggest game in the whole wide world. I can't understand. I don't know anything. Whew. Now you're Irish. Yeah, I know. I turned Irish. <laughs> I think I, the Irish people have soccer, so that works. They do. I mean, it's all around the world. It is. You know? Okay, so I'm going to invent the... S- n- the snaclap is the name. Okay. Okay. So, first you do... It's a snap and a clap at the same time. The snaclap. You're okay. supposed to use it when you're really, really impressed. Okay? So... Okay. Say right. that, like... Someone is gonna do something really impressive. Uh, so do something impressive. Okay. Um. That was amazing. I know. Okay. Because then you give them two things. You give them a snap and a clap at the same time. You do. So if 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 you do that to people, then they were really amazing. You know, you need to save that. Yeah. No, you can't just do it like at the end of some show that you didn't think was very good. Mm. Then you just do the. Huh. it has to be a very special occasion right um so hope you guys enjoyed this episode um learn some more products from as seen on tv maybe you'll test them out for yourself especially if you have a kid or you are a kid you can try this car out it's actually pretty cool um and make sure to give this video a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe and after you subscribe make sure to press the bell so you get all of our videos in your notifications box and we'll see you next time bye Bye. hey guys thanks for watching that episode if you'd like to subscribe down here if you could subscribe that'd be awesome sally sells seashells by the seashore sally sells seashells by the seashore sally sells seashells by the seashore sally sells seashells by the seashore
There you go. Uh, and make sure to, uh, if you want to watch a previous episode, you can click up here. And if you'd like to watch a random episode, you can click down here. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.